one of the 10 people arrested in one of Singapore's biggest anti-money laundering operations, had lived in a sprawling good-class bungalow GCB in Ewart Park that housed a golf simulator and a high-end karaoke room. Su Haijin, a Cypriot national, had moved into the GCB near Holland Road in 2021, where the monthly rent was about $80,000 at the time, said a source close to the family. The source, who spoke on condition of anonymity, added that the 40-year-old began renting a unit at Silver Sea Condominium in Marine Parade sometime in 2017. Two years later, Sue, his wife and three children, two sons and a daughter, moved into a duplex penthouse at Gramercy Park on Grange Road. He is linked to the purchase of at least three units in the same upscale development. Sue's wife gave birth to a fourth child earlier in 2023. While an accounting and corporate regulatory authority Acre Search shows his listed address as an apartment in Gramercy Park. Sue was arrested in Ewart Park at a sprawling bungalow with a swimming pool and a golf putting green in the garden. He is said to have jumped out of a window to try to escape as police raided the residence and was found hiding in a nearby drain where he was arrested. Several luxury vehicles were often parked in the compound, including two Rolls-Royce cars and a Ferrari. The source said the house also included a basement with a movie and karaoke room. The dining area has built-in hot pot holders for steamboat meals. Sue and his family often hosted meals at the home in Ewart Park and would gather in a dedicated tea room. He also held parties there, with bartenders and other serving staff in attendance. Sue was among 10 people arrested on Tuesday in an anti-money laundering operation that saw cash and assets of about $1 billion seized. Frozen or issued with prohibition of disposal orders by the authorities. They were charged in court on Wednesday night with various offences. The Straits Times understands that several of the ten are related either by birth or marriage to one another, and all of them were originally from Fujian in eastern China. They included Su's older brother, Su Baoling. The 41-year-old Su Baoling, who holds a Cambodian passport, is a shareholder of construction firm Sentosa Project. He was arrested on Tuesday when police raided a GCB in Nassim Road where he lived. He was charged on Wednesday with using a forged document to cheat Citibank. According to Acre Records, he is also a director and shareholder of SG Gree, an electrical appliance company that manufactures air conditioners. He was made a director of SG Gree on June 1, 2021, the same day his brother Su Haijin was appointed a shareholder of the company. Su Baolin also holds shares in two investment companies. Police seized cash of more than $777,000, 33 luxury bags and watches, 75 pieces of jewelry and other items from his residence, which is perched on a hill. Checks by the Straits Times on Thursday showed seven cars, including a red Ferrari, parked in the compound of the four-story GCB, which also has a swimming pool. A woman who was leaving the residence said there were only children in the home, adding, there are no adults in this home except for the children whom I tutor. A man later walked to the front gate of the compound and said he is responsible for taking the children in the home to school. The older children knew what had happened that morning, but the younger one is clueless, said the man, who did not want to be named. The children generally don't ask questions because their father usually travels overseas for work. A neighbor, who has been living in the estate for the past 10 years, said that the occupants had moved in about two years ago. He added that homes there typically sell for about $50 million. A Caucasian family had lived there previously, he added. The couple, 
who are Chinese nationals, were arrested at a bungalow at Pearl Island in Sentosa Cove. Zhang, 44, is a director of Golden Eagle Family Office, which offers management consultancy services. His partner Lin is a shareholder of Ben Tianyao Catering Management and Eagle 77, which also offers management consultancy services. Zhang holds a passport believed to be from St. Kitts and Nevis, an island country in the Caribbean, while Lin, 43, has a passport issued by the Dominican Republic. The International Monetary Fund has flagged the two countries as territories that issue passports under economic citizenship programs with minimal to no residency requirements. Lin also holds a passport from Turkey. When he was charged in court on Wednesday with forging a document to cheat CIMB Bank, Zhang requested to be released on bail. He said Lin, whom he referred to as his lover, could remain in remand in state. The police seized cash of more than $7.6 million at their residence and issued prohibition of disposal orders for nine properties and five vehicles with an estimated value of over $106 million. Su Jianfeng is a shareholder of a wholesale and distribution company called Rico. The 35-year-old, who was slapped with a money laundering charge, was arrested at a GCBE in 3rd Avenue in Bukit Taima. The Vanuatu National has a foreign passport believed to be issued by China. Police seized more than $1.4 million in cash and other currencies, 95 pieces of jewelry, 69 luxury bags, watches and other items at his residence. The Cambodian National, 33, was arrested at a condominium in Leonie Hill Road in the River Valley area. He was charged with money laundering. Chen, who was found in possession of foreign passports, believed to be issued by China and the Dominican Republic, is a director of High Cloud Technology, a business that offers cloud solutions and services. The 31-year-old Cambodian national was arrested at a GCBE in Lewis Road in Bukit Taima. He was found with a foreign passport believed to be issued by China. The police seized items, including cash of more than $600, 000, 000 and 11 pieces of jewelry. There were no acre records found for him, Wang Baosan, who is a Chinese national and has a passport from Vanuatu, and Wang Dihai, a Cypriot national who has passports from Cambodia and China. Wang, who is also known as Wang Shuiming, is the director and shareholder of Chui Chi Technology. An ACRA search showed that he was also the shareholder of Ming Xian Singapore Technology, which was struck off in 2021. Wang, a Turkish national who has passports from Vanuatu and China, was arrested on Tuesday at 7B Bishop's Gate, which is in the Tanglin area. A man who worked in the area said he saw five unmarked cars parked along the narrow cul-de-sac where the GCB is located at about 5.30m. The sprawling home has a basement and a modern facade. The man added, there were about 20 people dressed in black. We couldn't tell if they were police, and I thought they were gangsters because they were not wearing any identification. The man, who declined to be named, said the occupants of 7B Bishop's Gate had moved in about three years ago. We did not interact with them because they were very private people, said the man.